Building an environment monitoring device is absolutely cool, but making its data accessible over Apple Home app is even much cooler. Today in this video, we are going to set the ESP32-S3 based air quality sensor device we have programmed before to publish sensor data over MQTT. We will also set up HomeBridge to retrieve this published data using MQTT Think extension, which will let Apple Home app show the sensor data content on iPhone. We will also update the screen user interface to show Wi-Fi and broker connection state on Squareline Studio. We will see how easy it is to build your own smart home device today. So without any further ado, let's put the show on the road. Okay, so here's the setup that I'm going to use along this tutorial. Actually, I've been using the same setup uh, for a while. Here I have the THMI board from Lidigo. It has air quality sensor and temperature and humidity sensors. Uh, so let me power it up. Actually, I've been using the same setup for a while. But this time, what I want to do uh, is to transfer the sensor data over MQTT uh, to the MQTT broker that is running on this uh, Raspberry Pi. Okay, so the home bridge is going to retrieve the sensor related data uh, using the uh, MQTT topics that the ESP32 uh, S3 is going to use to publish the related sensor data. Uh, and currently, uh, actually, I've added this uh, Wi Fi uh, logo over here to show that the ESP32 S3 is currently connected over Wi Fi to my network. So currently, the ESP32 is not connected to the MQT broker and it cannot publish any data. So let me power this up uh, and we'll see the sensor data, the air quality sensor and temperature and humidity data. Uh, we are going to see them uh, on Home app because we have the home bridge running and after that we'll see how to set up the home bridge to let it retrieve uh, the sensor data over MQTT. So now I'm going to power uh, the Raspberry Pi to run my broker. Okay so now let me show you how it's possible to show the sensors data uh, on home app. So this is the home app uh, on iPhone. I can see the data shared by the ESP32 uh, over here. So if I go to the temperature here I can see the air quality sensor uh, is sharing, you can see here it's uh, 23 degrees. And also I can see here detailed uh, report of the uh, air quality shared by this sensor. So the data of the sensor gets updated uh, every one minute uh, almost. We'll see that uh, on the ESP32 firmware. So here you can see the value of the uh, VOC index uh, and the air quality, it's fair, shared over here. And of course, also we can see the data of the uh, humidity over here. So you can see the air quality uh, side. Okay, so now let me uh, spray some perfume. So uh, the air quality data will uh, get modified a bit and we'll see that change on the Apple Home app. Yes, so now you can see how the uh, air quality index uh, has got uh, updated almost immediately. So now the data is also getting um, updated. So you can see that the VOC index is also getting published by the ESP32 and we can see that here on the Apple Home app. Okay, so now it's time to jump into HomeBridge configuration to see how we can uh, configure the uh, air quality sensor on that side and then we'll have a look at the ESP32 firmware. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. If you are looking for producing or having your own engineering prototype, then GLC PCB is your correct destination. For low price and high quality, you can get your PCB manufactured and assembled. All you need to do is to upload your design on their website to make your order and they will make it real for you within days. Easy to use, affordable to make and reliable to trust. You can always count on GLC PCB. Don't miss out GLC PCB 6 layer PCB special where you can not only get high quality 6 layer PCB for just $5, you can also have many coupons for your PCB ordering. Check the link in the description. Okay, so here's the Homebridge web user interface. 
and here I am in the plugins page where I have all my plugins installed I've talked about this before Homebridge camera UI will be the topic of the upcoming tutorial where we will be able to integrate a camera into Apple Home app we'll cover that in the upcoming tutorial so I'll continue today with the Homebridge MQTT thing of course this allows us to integrate any device that can communicate over MQTT to let it communicate with Apple Home application so of course I've already talked about uh, motion radar and RGB uh, lamps you can have a look at that uh, tutorials I will share a link uh, in the video description so today we will be covering air quality sensor so let's open that of course in the first segment in the MQTT settings we will need to enter the uh, MQTT broker uh, URL that's running on the Raspberry Pi and then we need to select the topics uh, which the uh, air quality sensor will use to share the data so we will see the same topics uh, in the ESP32 firmware so here I have the uh, air quality string then I have the uh, VOC index uh, active and of course we have the humidity and uh, temperature so after setting these topics correctly it will be possible for the home app to retrieve this data and that's all so now let's jump into uh, the ESP32 web user interface where we have used uh, Squareline Studio okay so here I'm running uh, Squareline Studio actually we have seen this uh, user interface design before but uh, here I have added these two icons uh, in order to show the Wi-Fi connection and the uh, MQTT broker connection so here I have added them to these panels so what I'm going to do in the firmware in order to toggle these uh, icons is that I'm going to play with the uh, hidden uh, flag uh, to show uh, whether my device is connected over Wi-Fi or not so I'm going to do that simply by uh, toggling the uh, hide flag just like that okay of course uh, after finishing the user interface we are going to export the user interface files and we are going to integrate that into our project okay so now let's jump into the ESP32 firmware okay so here's the firmware running on the ESP32 S3 so I've already shown this uh, firmware before but of course I have done few modifications uh, to let uh, the ESP32 S3 uh, publish the related sensors data over MQTT uh, to the selected broker so this will let any device connected to my local network retrieve this data from the specified uh, topics of course uh, to let my uh, ESP32 connect to the uh, Wi-Fi network I have added the Wi-Fi layer over here and of course I need the Wi-Fi task that's going to connect my ESP32 uh, to the local network of course all the credentials of course all the SSID and password credentials are already stored for, and after my ESP gets connected to my local Wi-Fi network it's going to connect to the uh, MQTT broker there's actually one important thing I want to mention here is that in order to let the Wi-Fi connection capability gets available in the uh, menu config there is one option um, needs to get uh, activated in the uh, managed components directory cmake lists so this directory must be included so the wi-fi connection capability will be added to your menu config and uh, doing that will make uh, your life easy so if i do rdf.py menu config The connection configuration and uh, inside this option you can see all the uh, S the Wi-Fi SSID and password credentials you need to insert to let your ESP32 connect your local uh, Wi-Fi network and you will have your ESP32 to your Wi-Fi uh, with uh, the functions that I have discussed over here in the uh, Wi-Fi related task this one the other sponsor of this tutorial is Keysoft. Currently, they have special discount on Microsoft Office, Windows 10, and Windows 11. All you need to do is to add your product to your cart and apply the coupon code to get your discount, and then proceed with the payment information. Check out the link in the description. So let's get back to our tasks. I've added uh, these two tasks. One is used to parse data received over MQTT but here actually this task does nothing but inform me when the 
uh, ESP32 is connected to the MQTT broker so I can publish a sensor active state and to activate the MQTT uh, connection logo on the screen this is of course done using the LVGA library as we have seen in the uh, square line uh, studio so this is related to MQTT message parsing and the other task and the other task is the MQTT send message actually uh, here is everything is done related to sending and publishing data over MQTT to the uh, broker that's running on the Raspberry Pi so in this task I have actually loaded uh, all the functions that are going to be used to publish data to the MQTT broker to this array so I have here a function array uh, and here I have uh, a message ID that's going to uh, get incremented uh, every time uh, this task uh, runs so this task is running so this task is running every uh, nine seconds at every execution a different uh, message will be published so first the air quality string is going to be published so if we have a look at this function so here we have uh, the strings excellent fair uh, inferior poor and unknown so these strings uh, shows on the uh, home app let's get back and after that here i have the humidity temperature uh, sensor active and VOC data you can see that this function array is going to execute one of these function one at a time okay so this brings me to the end of this tutorial all the related materials uh, to this video are shared on my github repository so you can copy my project and work on it or maybe develop it so don't forget to like this video and tell your friends about useful electronics see you in the upcoming tutorials and bye bye